today we're gonna go over our dumbbell lateral. This is what it looks like. One, one, two, two, and so on. So when we break that down, the benefits, we're working through our lateral line. We're working our lateral core, we're getting stability through our entire body, and we're also building strength through our legs. So hamstrings, quads, and glutes. We start with our feet under the hips, and we're just gonna bring the elbows in, starting in a rock position. Staying nice and strong through the core, we take a big step out, keeping our toes pointed forward, and now shifting all of our weight over. Bringing our hips back and down, and keeping both feet completely flat. As we step in, we return to our starting position, and then we just repeat on the other side. Both sides together counts as one rep. Our progression and regression strategy. Weight of the dumbbell, heavier it is, harder it'll be, lighter it is, easier it'll be. Range of motion. So the bigger the step, the deeper we can get into our legs. So this is gonna be a lot harder than this, but both can be done to complete the exercise properly. And speed, the faster that we move in and out, the proper form and range of motion, the harder the heart and lungs work, the more cardiovascular benefits that we receive. Our big common fault here is gonna be as we step out, people tend to turn their foot out, and then from here, it's physically impossible for me to push my hips back and down and to recruit and activate all the target muscle groups that I'm looking for. So make sure to keep the toes forward, sliding our hips back, pushing our knee forward, return, repeat. And that is our dumbbell lateral lunge.